sometimes you might not even be aware of, you know, the stories that you're telling yourself, but it's so important because if you want to achieve anything you want to achieve, it really does start with believing in yourself first, believing that you can even accomplish this goal. We've been hearing this since we were young. I remember going to, you know, hearing different speakers come into our school and we're all sitting in the auditorium and hearing speakers saying, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But as I got older, now I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Because if you do not believe something, you cannot become what you don't believe. I'm excited to be back chatting with y'all today. I know it's been a minute and I'm not even going to make up an excuse. I feel like I, I come on in, I'm like, oh man, it's been a minute. Where, this is where I've been. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, for, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video. Thank you for being here today. So much you could be doing right now, but I appreciate you clicking this button to watch this video. Now today I'm talking about limiting beliefs, right? And why are limiting beliefs so powerful and how do they, you know, shape and influence your life? Um, and for me, the first time I even recognized that beliefs were, well, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up, let me back up, back, back, back. <laughs> let, let's start off with first, what is a belief, right? Cause you might be wondering what's a belief. I know we hear about a beliefs a lot growing up. We always hear the quote, believe in yourself. And if you saw the Kanye West documentary, now whatever you believe about Kanye, I know there's I know there's a lot of thoughts that come up when I say his name. I know he's 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 you know he's a unique person. <laughs> so whatever you believe about him, good or bad, one thing you cannot deny is that he believed in himself. And if you watch the documentary, it, it just goes through his belief, and from the beginning when he was super young, all the way up to you know how he got to where he is right now. And in the, in the documentary, Cootie said this quote, he said, your belief is the fire that fuels your purpose, right? Because if you do not believe something to be true, you're not going to take the actions and you're not going to be persistent in pursuing those endeavors. So that's why everything really does start with the belief. It's so important, right? Because reading just allows you to expand your mind, right? And when you expand your mind, you're really able to expand your life. So that's why reading is truly fundamental. So this is a book called Liminal Thinking. Beliefs are created. Beliefs are constructed hierarchically using theories and judgments, which are based on selected facts and personal subjective experiences. And then there's this quote that I like. It says, our beliefs guide our desires and shape our actions. Our beliefs guide our desires and shape our actions. And that's a quote by Charles S. Pierce. Now, why do beliefs guide our desires and shape our actions? Because whatever you believe inside of you, and sometimes you're not even aware that you have beliefs that you believe or beliefs that you're, you know, that are limiting, that are stopping you from even taking the actions you want to take. But how do you, how do I know that beliefs exist? How do I know that beliefs are, are true things is because when it comes to like my finances, I had to believe that I could build wealth. I had to believe that I was worthy of building wealth. I had to believe that, you know, I could invest. I had to believe that I could be debt free one day. I had to believe all these things inside of me in order for me to even get the results, right? Of paying, being debt free, of having investments, of building wealth. So it had, a, it started with a belief. Because if I didn't believe, then I'm not going to take the action steps. I'm not going to be consistent. When times get hard, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to fall off track and I'm not going to get back on. But since I have this strong belief inside of me that it was possible, now I'm able to take the actions. Do my notes for a second because I got a story for y'all. So one limiting belief that I had, which I didn't even realize this was something that was happening. Recently, my husband complimented me on my writing, right? He was like, Candace, your writing has really improved. You're a really good writer. And I just took that in. And I was just like, thank you for noticing that. Because for a long time, a belief that I had for myself was that I wasn't a writer, right? I just told myself I was a creative. And that for, for me, for some reason, that a creative didn't include a writer for me. I'm like, I'm not a writer. And I remember that um, I had a, t I took a class when I was younger and I remember the teacher like reading over my work and she said that, you know, that I wasn't a good writer. She was like, Candace, maybe this isn't your thing, you know? So that's kind of a memory that stuck with me. And, um, which I'm not, I'm not really blaming that, but that is something that has, you know, stuck with me. Um, and, and I had to reframe 
you know, that belief. If I wanted to be a better writer, it had to start with the inside. It had to start with what I believed was possible for myself, right? So for a long time, that belief stuck with me. And so I, you know, got the teacher example. And then when I started my blog, um, I had my sister was like my editor and she was writing some posts for me too. Right. And so I'm like, okay, so I need an editor because you know, I, I don't, I, I'm, a, I'm not a really a writer. Let me just stick to video. So that's why I really did start getting more into video and then just having my videos transcribed, um, because of that belief. Right. And then as time went on, I just, I was hiring a writer to write my blog post for me because again, back to the belief, I'm not a writer. And, you know, as the years went on and I got um, this, a job right now, I got a job as a marketing specialist. I'm now a marketing manager at a company here in Charlotte. Um, but in the beginning, I realized that that belief was affecting, you know, my outcomes at work. And I had to write. I had to become a better writer in order for me to have, in order for me to be effective at my job, I had to become a better writer. So once I was aware that I, of these beliefs inside of me, it started there. It started with affirmations. It started with me affirming myself, like I am a great writer, right? I can, I can improve my writing skills. You know, it started with me believing that, right? And then I bought a book. I bought a book on writing, right? I started doing more reading. I started writing more at my job. I started listening to the feedback. Uh, um, from my boss and my manager on like what they were telling me. I started and, about my writing and how I could improve, how I could get better and not seeing that criticism as, you know, a judgment against me. Like, Oh, I'm not, I'm not good. And I'm never going to be, good. you know, I can't let those thoughts, those negative thoughts. Cause sometimes we all get those negative thoughts, right? And those negative thoughts can either that those negative thoughts can stop you from achieving, you know, your outcomes that you want to achieve. So you have to be constantly, be aware of what's happening in inside internally, right? So that your behaviors and your, uh, um, your actions can line up with the outcomes that you want in your life. Now that I've, I've, I've got the, you know, I've affirmed myself, I've reframed my beliefs. I rewired my beliefs right now. I believe I'm a writer, right? I did the work. I, I was practicing my writing. I was reading books on writing and I, I, and one belief I also had to shift was that nobody is born a writer, right? We're all, nobody is born out the womb as a writer. It's just something that you have, you learn to get better at. It's something like you're practicing like a craft and then you get better over time. Just like I was able to get better over time at my videos. That's the same is true about writing or anything that I want to accomplish. But it first started with that belief and now my writing is better. I am a better writer now, but it, you see how it all started back though with that belief. And then I started to do the action to do the work to actually become a better writer. But I first had to believe that I could be a writer, that I was a writer. And in order for me to, you know, stay on the right track and to even see those results. That's why your beliefs are so powerful because they do shape our reality. They shape our actions. They shape our daily actions actually. Um, so if you are struggling, you're not getting results in a certain area of your life, maybe it's time for you to just sit, you know, sit in a quiet space. I meditate every day, almost every day. Let me not say every day because there's some days where I don't meditate, but I meditate at least four to five times a week. And that's something I do in my morning routine. Sometimes I do it before bed, but even just having that quiet time to sit in silence and be aware of what's happening inside of me has been so helpful because now I'm able to hear and recognize what beliefs and what stories am I telling myself? And are these true, right? Are these, are these thoughts and beliefs helping me? Are they improving my life? Are they helping me get to where I want to go? Or are they stopping me? Are they slowing me down? Are they keeping me stuck? So that is something that I want to leave here with you to just start, you know, paying attention to your beliefs that you're telling yourself. Cause sometimes you might not even be aware of, you know, the stories that you're telling yourself, but it's so important because if you want to achieve anything you want to achieve, it really does start with believing in yourself first, believing that you can even accomplish this goal. We've been hearing this since we were young. I remember going to, you know, hearing different speakers come into our school and we're all sitting in the auditorium and hearing speakers saying, believe in yourself, believe in your dreams. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But as I got older now, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so true. Because if you did not believe something, you cannot become what you don't believe. And that's why beliefs are powerful in any area of your life. Beliefs are powerful. So that's the message I want to leave y'all with today. I don't want to spend you know, too much time on this. I don't want this to be a super long video. I hope that you found this video helpful. 
make sure you um, hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And um, in the comments, let me see what can I, what can I ask you? Leave y'all in the comments here. Um, let me know. Do you recognize any beliefs that are showing any limiting beliefs that are showing up in your life? Like as you're watching this video, is there something that hits you inside that you were like, hmm, maybe I do need to change my thoughts or how I'm how I'm seeing something. Um, or maybe there was an experience that happened in when you were younger and you're still holding on to that experience um, and you're still believing that to be true for you. But what happens if you were to shift your thoughts, if you were to shift your thinking, if you were to believe something different, something more powerful, and then you could take the actions and the steps to actually you know, get the things that you want in your life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, my hands, I just came back from the mall <laughs> and I got my ring. I thought I, I got my ring I, for my wedding ring. I have three rings and I was tired of them. Like, you know, just shifting all the time. So I just had to put it in the, in the jewelry place for them to get it fixed. And just now I'm going to have one ring. So it's going to take a few weeks for that to get done. In case you were wondering like, girl, where her ring at? <laughs> I am still married. It's just in the shop. <laughs> but until next time, I will see y'all later. I hope you be well, continue to be prosperous, and continue to believe in the things that you want, right? It all starts with belief. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.